Okay, it's going to be a great day, so let's get to it. This new feature in Art Rage is the font picker, which is much improved. I prefer text tool. Every time I think of font picker, I think of nose picker. First grade, we used to get demerits for picking our nose. I never got a demerit. I almost did. But in any case, here you can see a preview of the fonts. And you can just scroll up and down to change them so you can get a look at what you want to choose or pick. <laughs> you know, these are all my fonts, so you are not going to have the same fonts in your on your computer. So right now I'm just showing off, so I should probably stop that and move on to other things and show you this in action. All right, uh, let's get to business here. So I have my layer selected, tool selected, selected the text tool with a little T down at the bottom left. And that's way too small, so let's enlarge that so you can enjoy the little message I'm going to type. And I really type slow. I mean, I was in school, high school, and I never took the typing class because I'm an artist. I never thought typing would be in my future. And now I have to do it all the time, and I don't know how to do it. I hunt and peck, you know, with my index finger gotten a bit faster but I'm really kind of very slow if I type a paragraph that takes a half hour and that used to be an hour so I'm getting a little bit faster so in any case one of the things you can do now with the text is that you can and this is much better than the the, the previous versions because uh, it was just terrible using the previous. I don't know what anybody was thinking when they created those. Okay, so here I'm selecting the text and just to show that you can select the text. And then I'm going to show you uh, what I typed, which is that you can change the text on a selected layer without selecting the actual text. So here I have, I'm going to duplicate a layer. Duplicate. And it's already selected. I'm going to change the color. And you can see how everything has been affected without actually selecting the text. And this is a great time saver because most of the time you do have the text selected. OK, so now I'm just going to move it around because that layer behind it is now going to be my shadow layer. And it makes it stand out against uh, the image. And this is a good trick to use uh, anytime you have light text on a dark background with different colors that may be light also. So this is uh, a great uh, tip that I'm sharing with you. Now I'm going to show how you can individually uh, change the text within the, the sentence that I typed. So here I've changed it to another text. It doesn't affect anything else except that it does move it, you know, to make room for it. But that's about it. So and create text and select it. Yeah, select it. Didn't spell select it right. Instead of select it, select it, however you want to pronounce it. So anyway, that concludes our look at the new text tool. And remember, just create, share, like, comment, and subscribe.